Hi, this is Carol from the Crafty Emporium and I just want to give you a quick flip through of the altered book that I've created. Um, but first of all, I just want to talk to you about the cover and give you a little bit of a quick demonstration as well. This particular cover didn't turn out quite as I expected it to. Um, I Basically, I embossed the paper and sprayed it with some Cosmic Shimmer, which was this one. And the colour is Ocean Sunlight. So I did all the usual and I did my little bit of shimming around with the mica inside so that it all got mixed up. And I sprayed it onto, I'm going to move the book out of the way so I don't get it. And I sprayed it onto black card. Like so. So as you can see when it first comes out, it's quite blue. But as it starts to dry, it actually dries this gold colour. I don't know if you can see that. In fact, you can see look where it's starting to dry now. It's starting to go a little bit gold. Anyway, so I'm thinking, oh, yeah, that's really nice. I like that. That's really lovely. And then because when I put it on my book, when I was removing my fingers over the top of it, some of the shimmer was coming off on my fingers. So I thought what I'll do is I'll put some multimedia matte on it. And as I started to paint it on, as you can see, it starts to turn it back to the bluey green colour. So whereas I thought I was getting this sort of lovely gold sort of effect, it turned out bluey green. I was a bit like, oh, that doesn't go with the papers inside, but I do like the effect. I think it's really lovely looking, but it doesn't give... The impression of what's inside the book not that I'm complaining because it's only for me but as you can see look it's got that lovely turquoisey greeny goldy shimmer to it well I'm hoping you can see it anyway anyway so just to explain why I thought it doesn't actually go with the book is these are the papers that I actually used inside which is Dovecraft's Floral Muse which, as you can see, they're very sort of shabby, chicy pinks and greens, which doesn't go with the book cover. But as I say, I'm not complaining too much because I really like the cover. So I embossed the paper, sprayed them with that cosmic shimmer, and I stuck them on the front, on the spine, and on the back. And then I found these beads in my stash, which complemented the um, colour of the paper really, really well. Anyway down to the book. This book was created as a teaching journal because I, I teach a class on a Tuesday evening on how to create journals, junk journals, photo albums, that sort of thing. And this was a teaching book to show all the different things that you can do inside an altered book. So the book that I chose measures five inch by right about eight inch. And all the elastic and the beads off and so this was basically to show all the different kinds of methods that you can use so I've used quite a few of our friends from Junk Journal Junkies some of their ideas of which I hope I will remember all of your names but here we go so this was a piece of coffee dyed paper that I did with the doily this first page was to show Teresa's negative space with the circle cut out and then a butterfly placed over the top of it. And on this particular page, I did a belly band and I did a corner band as well. Now, I haven't put any tags or anything inside this book because, as I say, it's just purely for demonstration purposes. And then the background paper I did here was coffee dyed. On the next page, again, you get to see the opposite side of the negative space. A Rita Donnelly flip, but mine's slightly elongated because of the shape of my pages. So that's that one there. A little side pocket. And the technique that I used was Crafty Irina's technique of pulling out the papers and then sticking the pages together. As you can see as well, I did some border punching out of card and stuck that on the edge with lace, as lace 
Um, I'm not a massive fan of tons and tons of lace. I like it sort of quite simplistic looking. Um, I have added some lace in here, which goes against my better nature, but I do think that it looks really pretty. But over and above that, I've done the punched border edges. Two ripped corners. Oh, and as you can see here, stitched in some of the pages as well. So this one's a double tuck pocket. This was a sort of made pocket. So basically what I did was um, uh, I stuck a big piece of paper on with border punching on each end. And then I created a flap which I stuck on the top to create the envelope flap. That's that one. Held down with a pearlized button. Some delicate lace. This one, I'll put that down a minute. This one I did um, a top belly band so that I could place this notebook over the top and the notebook has got a little pocket on it so that you can put copy dyed papers or whatever papers inside and then I did some glossy accents on this butterfly which was from the paper stack. Here I made an envelope which flips open so that you can put stuff inside the envelope and I put a belly band on the envelope as well so that you can put things underneath that and then this shows where you can put two pages together to form a pocket on the side and I put a card inside of it just to demonstrate the fact that it is a pocket another belly band here I made from the paper stack again some little money pockets which flip like so and again they are pockets so that you can actually put things inside of them this one's too big but anyway you get the idea and then here I did the page where you don't actually glue the whole of this background paper to the book page and you cut a slit in it so that you can sit things inside and even hide a few things inside there if you wish there's a bit of a secret love a bit of a secret Here's a pocket, bottom loading pocket, and here these are Teresa's. <coughs> excuse me, these are Teresa's um, flip tags that she makes. Um, I did mine slightly differently, in that I'd left just a slither of the book page and then cut out these tag shapes and stuck those on top of the the slithers of paper that I left behind and I cut the bottom off to make a little pocket so that you can see that that tucks inside of there and the same on that one so there's a little belly band to hold those in place and then the pocket to slot them sliding at the bottom and then on the back side I did a crisscross so again you could put another journaling card in there and it won't slip out and the same on the top one as well another little pocket Two more torn pockets. This was one where you don't stick the background paper to the book page and you make a pocket out of it. But I also did a little tuck at the bottom there as well. Another pocket. A little flip. And this was my coffee dyed papers, which you can open up. And if I remember correctly, yeah, I did them as a top loading pocket as well. Now this one, again, as I say, this was a teaching journal. So this was to show again what you could do. So I've done tiered pockets here and then I've decoupaged the um, layers onto separate parts of the pocket so that it gives the three dimensional effect that way. So you, you've got the pocket with the shoes and the bag on just to show that it is a pocket so you can put something inside there and then the next part of the picture which is the dress form the bag and the shoes and again if we're going there we go that's also a pocket and then the top part with the last part of the decoupage and again that forms a pocket 
the next page shows tiered pockets again uh, in a different format so again you've got two pockets there and Teresa showed this pocket as well and there's a belly band here as well this is a flip out I'll flip out that way and it's also a top loading pocket no nope, I'll tell a lie it's a side loading pocket I lied oops this again was to show what you could do with your book if you didn't want to do any of what I've done previously then you could use your book in this fashion so that you could actually separate the pages put little tabs on with letters of the alphabet or whatever and then slip pieces of paper behind to make it into that kind of a book or the alternative was instead of having separate cards like so is you actually have pockets so you could do pockets all the way along with your tabs on and then this part of the book again was to show something that you could do differently with it if you wanted to do this all the way through your book um, I'll magnetize the flap I love that sound do it again yeah um, that's quite sad really isn't it that you like that sound anyway so you lift up the flap and open it up and it's a concertina file so that you could actually sit this maybe on your bookshelf and hide some of your important papers in there and no one would be the wiser um, and as you can see what I've done here is I've actually um, creased the top of the flap so that if your file gets a little bit full then it will actually take accommodate for the depth of the various papers the only thing that I would do differently is that I've put two little round tags on uh, magnets on um, and you would actually need a strip of magnet to warrant the fact that this will actually move up the pocket to be able to accommodate the depth if that makes sense and that closes like so and that's my teaching journal for an altered book oh and I put um book corners on as well so i hope you've enjoyed having a quick peek at my altered book teaching journal and i'm going to show you the journal that i'm going to video next just as a bit of a teaser taster so this is a junk journal that i've made and that will be in next time's video thanks very much for watching bye